My question is for you, Mr. Engel. Uh, so if I look on the internet, on my iPad, I see a press release uh, from uh, Organogram. Uh, Trailer Park Boys choose Organogram as strategic partner. And in fact, uh, your company has a Canadian licensing agreement with the Trailer Park Boys as exclusive cannabis producer, business partner, and brand developer. According to a recent presentation to your investors, Organogram will develop Trailer Park Boys branding, packaging, and a competitive product portfolio for the recreational market. And, of course, we all know the Trailer Park Boys is a successful television and movie franchise, which is very popular among teenagers. So, why is your company developing marijuana packaging and branding that will no doubt appeal to teenagers? And does the Trailer Park Boys brand conform to your understanding of the federal government's proposed regulations for cannabis branding and packaging? That's a great question. So, um, so certainly the original agreement was put in place a couple of years ago before C45 had been drafted and before fully comprehending what the legislation would entail. Um, our objective with this at this point um, is we've built a brand called Trailer Park Buds that's not involved with them in any direct form. Um, that's kind of one of the brand uh, names that we have. But again, the goal, and we're not looking to target youth or adolescents, um, you know, it is one of the kind of sub-brands for a certain sub-segment of the popular, you know, of the target market that we believe um, that appeals to people that are kind of self-deprecating and are going to laugh at themselves, but it's not necessarily targeting youth in any shape or form. Well, if it's a popular, successful television and movie franchise, of course it is directed as you, at youth and youth, youth watch it, and you have a licensing agreement with the Trailer Park Boys. So whatever you develop uh, along with them, um, I mean, do you believe that this constitutes lifestyle advertising under the Cannabis Act? Yeah, so again, we're we're not looking to use them in any shape or form going forward. We're not looking, you know, again, celebrity endorsements prohibited in the Act. Uh, we're not looking to use them in any shape or form going forward in terms of how um, we'll leverage that. I mean, it really is we've created a brand that links to them indirectly. Why do you have a licensing agreement then if you're not going to use them? I don't really <laughs> understand that. <laughs> Part of it was to come, so we, you know, we've developed a number of different brands for the marketplace, and we wanted to look at, you know, is there a market segment that, um, you know, we'll look at this, but I, I, I certainly understand your question, but, you know, we believe it's in line with the legislation in terms of where it fits, yes. Well, in that case, then, okay. Thank you. You have a further question? You no, have more I'm... time. <laughs> no? Oh, I have more time. <laughs>